Is Kipchoge done and dusted the rise and fall of Kipchoge? Is that what we're seeing? I don't think so. Let's have a look at his history here of marathon times. He is very, very consistent. Uh, probably averaging around a 203 marathon if we do all those times up. From 2013, been cranking it up there. Some people just dispute how old he really is. Um, I would say he's definitely, you know, older than he claims because that's just Kenya. People don't have their passports or birth certificates. Things get lost in the fields. And that doesn't matter too much. But at the end of the day, it would be cool to know how old really Kipchoge is just so he can set, we can have some new paradigms in society. Uh, do I think Kipchoge is a natural athlete? No, I don't. But who is Natty running those times? And let's say that, you know, let's say that my opinion is wrong and that Kipchoge is Natty and all these marathon freaks right now are Natty. Then imagine if we got them on an, you know, a, a controlled oxygen vector doping protocol with an experienced doctor uh, overseeing that the uh, attenuation of the aerobic capacity gains would probably have him running in the high 140s. If you're running 201 as a natty, then you're definitely going high 140s on the good shit. But again, the average person out there is gullible and naive and will spend $330 or $370 on some shoes thinking maybe they will... And these shoes are good, by the way. But, you know, they're... <laughs> if you don't... It ain't just the shoes. The shoes help... But the hemoglobin is more important, okay? Anyway, let's get into this video. Following this is speculation. Like, I don't have any proof any of this is true. This is some speculation here. I don't have any proof that unicorns don't exist, okay? Maybe unicorns exist. Maybe you can run this time, Natty. I don't know. This is a speculation here. But people ask me, Harley, why do you think that we're running so much faster these days? All these 5K, 10K, you know, marathon records, etc. What's going on here? Is it the shoes? I mean, the shoes definitely help. There's no doubt about that. But we're just seeing all these new names popping up through. So, and everyone's using the same sort of shoes these days. So, it, these new names ranking through. It's like, mm, what's going on here? What we're seeing is we're seeing global financial stresses. Okay, now, these people from East Africa, etc., they are running for money. It, they're not running for, you know, they're literally running you know, running for life quality, for food, literally running for food security, okay, so this guy here has kipped him in his Nike Vapormax, uh, Vapormax, Vaporfly, <laughs> next percent twos, and uh, look at those times he's running, you know, a <laughs> 5k split, just, it's, it's insane, all right, so this guy's apparently like 23 or something, um, 13.49 5k in that split, so, you know, we're just seeing your total, this guy's 23, he looks like, you know, looks like a 40-year-old Kenyan, and that's not me in negative sense, that's just, you know, I think these guys are older than they're claiming, that's fine, but it would be great to know their real age, but anyway, the mysteries of professional sport, so we're seeing global financial stress worldwide, uh, worldwide. so you're having these, these African athletes, EPO, Ethiopia, Kenya, just yeah, COVID, the COVID deal is just, uh, you know, whatever your thoughts are on that, either way, the economies are just... It's doing tough for most people around the world, doing tougher, uh, especially in Africa there. So these shoe giants are like, we need to make sales, we need to get more athletes out there, let's get them on the, on the, the, you know, in the in the training camps. And these training camps are often run by ex-doctors involved with drugs in sport, cycling, etc. So there is, you know, there's so many drug busts, uh, testing positives and stuff from Kenyans and African runners and Americans and Russians and just pro athletes in general. It's pro, for, it's pro sport is funded by money to make more money okay professional sport is aggressive exercise cutthroat exercise funded by money to make more money nike asics you know just getting that getting that you know getting out there and it's entertainment you know i'm glad these guys and girls are out there having the chance to win money so they can eat you know i've got nothing wrong with people using pds you know now the average person out there doesn't understand that they're like, no, these, pro these people are natural. They just do clean living in Kenya. It's like, mate, it's cutthroat over there, okay? Like, it's cutthroat, okay? Look at the civil wars and stuff in Kenya. Like, these people are fleeing, you know, they're fleeing civil wars. They're fleeing poverty. They're fleeing starvation, etc. okay? This isn't just running for fun. This is running for, for life, running to live, okay? So is Kip JJ done and dusted? No, he's definitely not, okay? Uh, these guys, they just, you know... He, he, he wants to have, he's got a legacy he wants to maintain that so we're going to see a lot of running times getting dropped more and more and more and more because people want to be the next Kipchoge in Kenya okay 
he's showed people the income, the money, the fame, the worldwide fame. So other guys are very inspired by that. Very, very inspired by that. So Kip Choje is a trailblazer. And we saw in Boston Marathon where he missed his sugar bottle. He missed a sugar bottle. And then he started to, you know, bonk slightly, just ever so slightly, and lost a few minutes in the end there. So that's just how important having a sugar, uh, your sugar drink every two, you know, so every 20 minutes is going to be, uh, especially if you're pushing hard like this. You know, watch, I think this is the clip where he, he's arguing with people, saying, come on, go to the front. So he was obviously on a really fly over a day, and then he, uh, you know, started to run out. Look how, look, how, look how lightweight he is, okay? Look how lightweight he is. It's a rainy day, so a little bit colder, so you're going to burn through more carbohydrate in the colder weather. So it's even more important that you can't miss your sugar drink. And he made a big mistake by not going back for his sugar drink. You know, he, he probably was feeling so good he thought he'd be okay, but at that level... You miss, you miss a, a gulp of sugar. It can be different between first place and fifth place, as we saw with Kip Chojo. So these new Adidas on the scene, the Adidas, is the Adios, Adios Pro 3, uh, which is a pretty good shoe to wear as well. I've, I've worn them, and they do, definitely do feel nice. So Nike with their carbon plate, etc. Actually, the carbon plate started with Brooks back in the day, back in the 90s, and Etonic. That, there we go. That's the clip where Kip Chojo loses his water bottle, boom, his sugar bottle, which is... He slips or whatever, he should have stopped and grabbed it or grab. You know, like that was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. You know, did would he grab it? Someone else's bottle? No, because he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's in it. All right, it might have painkillers in it. Might have banned substances in it. Might have something that you know he's not going to take on that day for whatever reason. So there we go. You can sort of see here. He started the fade. All right, he's running out of sugar, running out of water. He just, you know, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so this is just so critical. This is like the one thirty mark. 137, yeah, he's starting to drop the pace there. So he's just running out of sugar a little bit, uh, running out of water a little bit, and that makes all the difference. You know, it makes all the difference. You know, just when you're redlining like that. So such a simple mistake. You know, even the, the Kip Chojo is the GOAT, the greatest of all time men's marathoner. Even him, he is not immune to the effects of glucose exhaustion. So there's, there's even a, a white dude coming about to catch him. So he, he was definitely running out of sugar. You can sort of see as well, he's sort of like, just bringing it home, but you know, just not his usual carved up state. And we've got the top three runners here in Adidas. So this is going to ruffle a few feathers at Nike. But that's the deal, it's, uh, we're seeing some freak times, Kip JJ's London course record was, was beat as well. It's just uh, <clears throat> interesting times in the marathon world. It is very crazy, the times these guys are running with minimal fatigue, look at that. 205 for Boston in a wet course. Crazy, crazy, man. That's, uh, you know, sub three minute Ks in that last bit there. Freak times. It's a freak show out there. Okay. Back to back Boston Marathon wins. Okay. If you think out there any of this is possible without assistance pharmaceutically, then, uh, man, there's, there's some, some very, very gullible people out there. People who just don't understand, you know, the. The pressure is to perform, okay? It's when you dedicate your life to running and being super skinny, you know, and chicks don't really dig you and you're that skinny, so why wouldn't you take drugs to win money uh, if you want to get a wife or whatever? Uh, you just, you know what I mean? It's just like, you're going to stay natty and keep missing out on life. <laughs> you're going to get beaten in running races by people as good as you, but they took the shit, and then you go to the nightclubs and chicks will just be like, eh. You're too skinny or you don't have enough money. See you later. So it's like the temptation to get on the shit is very, very strong. Um, I can definitely empathize with these, uh, these these athletes who do take EPO, etc. It's just, it's business at the end of the day. It is business, all right? When that hammer drops and the pace goes full on, if you're not on the good shit, you are getting left behind very, very quickly, okay? Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff, all right? This is, uh, yeah... The Japanese on the shit, the Kenyans on the shit, the, you know, the, the, it's just, you can basically laugh at the drug testing, at right? the half-life of EPO, it's so hard to get caught with that, if you get caught with EPO, your IQ is probably not so much, and, uh, you know, especially as a runner, because the testing is very, very sporadic, it's just, you know, it's just crazy, man, it's absolutely crazy, these times out there, just full gas sprinting, look, look how fast that is, all right? I ran a 16.33 5K last Saturday on a pretty slow course, out and back course, measured course. Uh, 
with the garment, etc. And uh, 1633, that's like, their marathon pace is almost, almost like two minutes faster than my 5k PR that I did on Sunday. It's just absolutely insane. Um, but hey, that's, that's, that's the, the peak, 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 peak level of human performance. But let's say these guys and girls are natural. How much faster? Okay, let, let's, let's have you all side. These, these people are natural. How much faster would they run if they got an EPO? Okay. Do you mean like, how, how dumb are you to think? I shouldn't say dumb. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm saying that in a nice way, but how dumb are you, man, to think these, these times are natural? Okay. They're going to run 140s, high 140s if they're, if they're natural. Or probably 145 if they're, you know, if they're natural. What, 201? You know, when we throw in prednisone, we throw in caffeine, we throw in Adderall, we throw in aspirin puffers, we throw in EPO, we throw in blood doping, we throw in testosterone, we throw in nandrolone, decanoate, or MPP, nandrolone, phenylpropionate. You know, we throw in these things, maybe some trend, some 50 milligram trend to sedate. You know, it's just like, you're dreaming if you think these times are natural. You're dreaming. But let's say, using your logic, these times are natural. Imagine how fast they would run on the good shit, okay? <laughs> All these top level runners juiced to the fucking gills. That is my opinion. I don't believe unicorns exist. That is my opinion. Do you have any proof that unicorns don't exist? I don't. I just don't think they exist. I don't think unicorns in athletics, swimming and running and pro sport exist. Okay. You're welcome to believe your own fantasies. That's okay. I still love watching these, these athletes perform. It's just entertainment and uh, it's amazing how fast a human body can run. <laughs>